Satatanj University, one of the most ethnically diverse schools in the country, with a wide selection of 70 programs and 220 courses, such as social and national sciences, teaching programs, journalism, business, humanities, police academy, among others. Something I really like about Sorotorans University specifically is that the campus, uh, I think the design is really good. Um, I like that, you know, it's all in one building and that a lot of times you can, you know, connect to even the other, like, even the other buildings like the library and like the Primus building. Sorotorn is a young and modern university, first established in 1996 with modern facilities that encourage student participation. The university is on the outskirts of Stockholm, approximately a 20-minute train ride away from the school. Stockholm is a mix of the new and the old, with a wide range of cultural activities, events and an active nightlife. Before coming here, remember to bring a European wall adapter, bed linen and towels, clothes for all seasons, Beware that temperature drops to below minus 10 degrees with warmer climate during summer. It's also essential to bring your passport, European healthcare card and a credit or debit card since stores in Sweden usually only take card and phone payments. The train from Arlanda comes at the fee of 120 kroners. All public transport in Stockholm is accessible through the SL card, which costs 590 kroners. It lets you travel freely as much as you want for a one month period. Make sure to download the SL app to easily find your way around the city. I'd say the city center, which is where I spend most of my time, is very walkable, uh, and the the train system is fantastic. You know, with the SL card, you can get you know anywhere, you take any of the trains, buses. So not having to worry about that, just being able to scan into basically anywhere to get somewhere uh, is definitely very handy. I take the the Pendle Tog into the city center probably every day. Once you arrive at Fleming Spy Station you can take the bus 704 to Björnkulla. But the housing is also within walking distance if you prefer. You will receive your keys when you arrive there. The average living expense per month is as follows. Near Fleming's Batty Station, you will find supermarkets and gyms. The main residence for exchange students is located at Björnkulla, which is just a 15-minute walking distance away from the university. Here, you can live in a single room or shared room. All buildings have shared space for cooking and social interactions, as well as laundry rooms and designated recycling stations outside. What I really like about the living situation here is that, at least in Bionkula, it's a very close to the nature. So if you want to like go for a walk, for example, it's just basically around the corner. And in general, I feel like living here um, is much more in touch with the nature. classes are small so you get to know uh, people of your class the people of your class and that I think that it's very helpful especially for exchange students that English is not their mo mother tongue um, so you you feel comfortable speaking and participating into the dynamics of the class and yeah that's it yeah 
it's very easy to feel comfortable and participate. Yes, I would say that, yeah. The experience of being abroad is that you get to meet a lot of new people that you wouldn't meet if you were in your hometown. Experiencing other uh, traditions or just lifestyles is so easy and it's, I think it's very interesting and you can learn a lot about this. I really like the exchange lifestyle here because like, I can just pop over to my friends anytime. We're always here around the kitchen table, like playing cards, having dinner together. Then every Friday, Saturday, we all go out together. But yeah, no, I like it because we're all just one big group. It's kind of like family. <laughs>